I'm Captain Miles Yearwood, Homicide Commander at the San Antonio Police Department. This critical incident video release is intended to provide you with information, as the department currently understands it, about an officer-involved shooting that occurred in the 8800 block of Topsy on May 27th. I will walk you through video relevant to the facts of this incident as we know them so far. Content of this video may not be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. On May 27, at around 4 a.m., officers were dispatched to the 8800 block of Topsy Street for a report of shots fired. Officers encountered three men outside the home who they said heard gunshots in the backyard of their home. While on scene, the first responding officers heard shots fired and advised dispatch. Hey, that one shot. Yeah. Either that or a bang. He hit something. The three men told officers they suspected the gunfire was 43-year-old Japheth Perea, who was living in a shed in the backyard of their home. Yeah, y'all give me back. More officers arrived on scene and attempted to contact Perea by intercom and via phone without success. With consent, officers conducted a protective sweep of the residence. Yeah, so no, not nobody else should be inside? No, no. no. Okay. Oh, we're all good. Privacy laws prohibit the department from showing the inside of an individual's home. As such, the video has been blurred. Closed door, closed door, closed door. Open, open. Open up. Closed curtain. Ready? Okay, anybody else in here? I'm gonna hold it real quick. Officers moved through the home before entering a back dining room where Perea opened fire on officers and an officer returned fire. As officers retreated to safety, an officer's body camera fell from his uniform inside the home, capturing the moments Perea surrendered. I'm here, I'm here, I don't have a gun no more. I'm here, please, hurry. Oh my God. Oh, please, I don't have a gun. I... After several minutes, Perea exited the back door of the home and was taken to University Hospital with gunshot wounds to his lower extremities. He has been charged with two counts of aggravated assault against a public servant and, as of this publication, remains in custody. Investigations into deadly force are comprehensive and can take over a year. A reminder, this is our current understanding of the situation and could change as investigators gather more information. The San Antonio Police Department does not make any determinations as to whether procedures were followed until all facts are known. All officer-involved shootings are forwarded to the Bear County District Attorney's Office for review. As of this publication, the investigation remains ongoing. Where were you guys when you heard the shot? I was, I was, I heard, I was in my room when I heard I was coming out of my room and I was like, oh, I was using the restroom. That's why I ran out to the front. I was already, you know, everyone. Have you all gone back there? Or? Huh? Have you all gone back there nah, to check? Uh-uh. No, that's why, well, I went to my room and I called his name and nothing. So then when I came back out. See, see, hey, see, see, that one see, shot. See, see. Yeah. I don't know. 
Either yeah, that or a bang. He hit something. Check on the side, right there. 60, 60, right? Yeah, y'all get me back. Is your girlfriend still inside? No. Oh. You're not in there anymore? No. She left? She's the first one that ran out. Okay. She just, just I just wanted to make sure, because you said she was there earlier. So yeah, no, she's not there. Nobody else should be inside? No, no. Okay. Oh, we're all good. Shouldn't be anybody else. Closed door, closed door, closed door. Open, open. Open up. Closed curtain. Ready? Okay, anybody else in here? I'm gonna hold it real quick.